milk and max rooms uh, so we've already done the average uh, rate of a reaction so after and uh, i've also done certain numericals based on average rate of the reaction please go through all the videos because i'm be i am doing it in a sequence i'll be doing the average rate of reaction then i'll be doing rate loss then i'll be doing rate constant i'll be trying to cover the definitions according to the order and then i'll go to the integrated rate equations so remember try to watch or go through the sequence if you go through the sequence you will get to know the whole chapter perfectly and you'll get that five marks in your exam so let us come back and do this particular uh, definition so i have given it in the form of a question let us read what is rate law in illustrate with an example yes so once this question is given to you write your answer and start with the definition yes what uh, what how should you start the definition because your key your board key will be like this only just write the equation okay so what is rate law means the equation which <coughs> explains the mathematical form of the dependence mathematical form so dependence of the rate of a reaction on the concentration of reactants yes so let us write the equation which explains the mathematical form of the okay, forms no the mathematical form so it means the equation will be in the form of a mathematical expression mathematical form of the dependence of the rate of a reaction concentration of the reactants right so what is this explaining i'll take an example and explain so i've already done a numerical and average rate of reaction that is uh, no2 suppose no plus oxygen gives me no2 so if i take this as 2 and this is already 2 so 2 to the 4 2 to the 4 now this is your reaction correct now observe carefully this is your gaseous state this is also a gaseous state now observe carefully if i have to write the rate of this reaction i'm going to write rate is equal to rate of the reaction is equal to yes as i already told you <coughs> the uh, con rate of the uh, the concentration of the reactant raised to the power now i'm using a word called raised to the power into the concentration of the reactant there's no coefficient here so i've not written it because two oxygens here two oxygens two to the four by so each raised power here i'm going to write now this is how your uh, rate of a reaction is represented if you're taking only the concentration terms in respect to time then i'm going to multiply by dt right uh, delta t uh, at, at pick one i one by two now write this this is the rate of a reaction now along with this rate of the reaction i'm going to, to use one more term rate rate is equal to a constant multiplied by the concentration of the reactant raised to its power and this now this k is called rate constant so this is how you're going to explain just see the equation which explains which explains the mathematical form of the this is a mathematical form yeah of the dependence of the rate of the reaction dependence of rate of a reaction on the concentration of the reactants right so this is how you're going to write and state with an example because they have asked me an example now what is this rate constant let us learn the importance of rate constant if they're asking you what is the significance of rate constant so how should i write the answer just uh, just see basically your rate constant this particular rate constant if you have to start with the definition start like this it is easy also so rate constant k right great yes of a reaction is the intrinsic measure of rate of a reaction that means what am i trying to explain rate of a reaction what is this intrinsic means basically intrinsic intrinsic is nothing but native form right native very well know i believe so intrinsic measure of rate of reaction that means whenever you are taking or picking up or considering rate of a reaction with concentration terms along with that a constant which is the native form of this 
is represented in the equation right so because rate directly depends upon these concentration terms if i take out that concentration term, if i take out the directly proportionality result i'm going to add a constant that is the rate constant that is where i've written it is intrinsic or native form or native measure of the rate of a reaction or native form of this uh, rate of a reaction so what is the importance what is the significance now just uh, observe if if the value of k okay if the value of k is larger in a reaction then the reactions are very fast or fast very fast right if the value of k is smaller then the reactions are slow okay let me take one example and explain you you will just analyze you can really clearly analyze it suppose if i take a reaction which is very fast okay now fast very fast right i'm going to pick up a very fast reaction and now i'm going to pick up a slow reaction now observe so in for i uh, think yeah, okay very for very fast reaction let me take one example h3o plus plus oh minus okay now observe carefully 3 plus 1 4 correct that means how many water molecules 2 are going to form simple yeah now this particular for this particular reaction the rate constant which was observed was equal to 8.4 into 10 raised power of 12 now this is the second order kinetics the two molecules part two reactants participating the so, second order kinetics so the unit will be theta mole inverse minute inverse because it is a second order reaction let me take a slow reaction as i told in biomolecules your sucrose correct sucrose without sucrase enzyme the reaction is very slow it's going to take years to form glucose and fructose i'm going to take that c12 h22 o11 so i'm going to hydrolyze it in the presence of an acid so i'm not going to use any sucrase enzyme so this will break up into c6 h12 o6 plus c6 h12 o6 correct for such slow reactions the rate constant value was found to be 3.2 into 10 raised per of <coughs> minus 3 so this is called pseudo first order reaction i'll be doing that here both though both reactants are participating the concentration of only one is taken into consideration so this is a pseudo first order reaction that is the reason the unit for this is minute inverse yeah so now important here what did you observe the rate constant value was much higher than this must have 10 to the power of 12 right so the rate constant value is larger the reactions are very fast if the rate constant values are smaller minus 3 it is if it is smaller the reactions are very slow that is your significance of rate constant so remember please your answer when you're writing perfectly if you write a definition the significance put it in uh, square brackets and write important or you can write it as significance here significance and show with an example you get full perfect mark in this so please note it